Yo, it's Friday. Thanks for downloading another episode of Stage Door, a theater podcast hosted by a couple of regular guys. I'm here with Ron, and we are at St. Ursula Academy. They are doing the fan favorite show, Annie, and I assume it's a huge cast. There's going to be like a cast of thousands, you think, Ron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thousands in a cast of thousands. Oh, wrong show, as usual. So, Annie. Annie's huge. Everybody knows this. We're going to have to really dig deep and get some great details. And that's why we have Annie and Nina here to talk to us about everything that there is in the show. And we just grabbed Mrs. Henshaw, the director of this show. Now, I want to know from you, how do you pick the shows that you do here? Because, you know... The pressure's on you, man. The pressure's on you to pick these shows because if it's not a good show, nobody's going to audition. Sure. <laughs> uh, so I typically like an edgier show and mm-hmm. something that we can do a modern twist on, something that maybe makes people raise their eyebrows a little. So everyone was pretty surprised when we announced Annie because it is a younger show. It's a more family-friendly show. We hadn't really done a super family-friendly show since Peter Pan four years ago. And... We just thought it was the perfect timing to start to invite some younger cast members into our musical family. So we opened it up to grades 6 through 12, and then little sisters of anyone who was in the show. I love that. I know. They were telling us about that. I love that idea. It's been crazy. Um, And it ended up, it's, it's really been like the most rewarding journey because I've kind of taken off my director hat Mm -hmm. and I'm far more of a theater teacher. Um, We've had so many circumstances where I assume that these young students know something and they don't. And someone has to kind of tap me on the shoulder and say, you know, what's a sits probe? And the customers told me that the darts go in the front and I don't know what a dart is. And so neither do I. So yeah. with that. What is a dart? Real quick for people like me. We'll it, listen to for this. costumes. It, it they go in the front. We'll just say that. Okay. Um, and so there's been a lot of little learning moments where, or teaching moments, I should say, where I have the opportunity to not only direct this show, but teach about theater mm. and hopefully kind of snag these kids and get them hooked. So, so Ani, you are actually playing Annie. Annie. Yes. And Nina, you're playing? Lily. Lily. And who is Lily? Because I don't know who that is. Lily um, is the tertiary antagonist. She is uh, Rooster's girlfriend. Whew. Glad you explained what that was. The Bernadette Peters character. Yes. Bernadette, yeah. Bernadette Peters. Peters. So everybody knows Annie. So this is this is not one of those things where we're going to talk about what Annie's about because everybody already knows, obviously, what Annie is. So there isn't really a whole lot to to talk about when it comes to like, oh, what what's the show about? So what I want to know from you guys, so specifically. Um, were you super excited that this show was announced, though? How do you, I mean, every year there's this anticipation, I assume. So were you super excited when this one was announced? Yes, I yeah. was. Yes, you were? <laughs> Why were you? Well, I was in it in sixth grade Oh, <laughs> as, like, a featured dancer. So oh. I was excited to do the high school version and that we were going to have a lot of little kids in it. Oh, like, is there a lot? See, I didn't even know Oh, that. yeah. There's the junior academies in it. So, like, eighth, seventh, and sixth grade. And oh. then their, their little sisters are in it, too. What? So yeah. little sisters of the sixth graders. So yeah. we're talking well, we like have elementary, elementary. Like high school little sisters, yeah. too. Oh. I, I think the youngest is in third grade. Oh. Yeah. So like seven or eight years old, something mm-hmm. like that, real teeny tiny. Those, yep. And there are all these little orphans all over. Because uh-huh. I did see that Mrs. Henshaw had... Um, because I follow her, I stalk her <laughs> on Facebook. Um, I did see that she posted just a little thing that was just just the orphans today, and that was like a whole big deal. Just at all the orphans. So how long did that go on before you guys were even asked to be a part of it? Or was was there like a whole like month of just little kid orphans doing stuff? Um, well, I we did like Hard Knock Life first, so oh, that's a big one. Yeah. yeah so we. Started with the orphans, yeah. yes, and then went to the high schoolers. So that one's going to be the best number in the show, then, since that's <laughs> the one you've worked on the longest, probably, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> the pressure is on you then to pick these shows, and you picked one obviously because you you felt like you said it was the need to now let's get these kids hooked, let's get them in there. And is there was there any pushback on any of the shows you've picked in the past? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, sure. I mean, we we performed Jesus Christ Superstar, which is probably one of my yes. um, my favorite moments. Like we it. did it two years ago, and we did it with um, four female priests playing the priests, and we had a female Jesus and a female Judas. And um, what's so beautiful about the story is, I think five minutes in, you kind of forgot that we were gender bending, and mm-hmm. uh, which was really exciting. So yeah. 
I want to get this right out in the open. The very last communication I had with you, you threatened to murder me in my sleep. <laughs> uh, did, I, did I? Yeah, it was in <laughs> September, and I quote, I am going to murder you tonight in your sleep. <laughs> that and threat remains open if you talk about what death, I think you're going to talk about. <laughs> death, death by hippos was the other words you used. Mm -hmm. I like to take credit. I think I discovered you. I launched your career. Oh, geez. 26, 27 years ago uh, when you were a teenager. I was 11. You were 11, 11 when you were auditioned? I was 11 when I got hired. Mm -hmm. I was 11 so, when I... So 12 and 13 might have been when I worked with you on Zoo Today mm -hmm. on WTOL, half hour zoo show oh. about the Toledo and then Zoo. And you posted videos of that and that's when a she friend. She was so. a young actress on it and I posted some videos on it. No, you posted the bloopers <laughs> okay. and I could not have been more of an obnoxious um tween. Oh, it was yeah. just such gangly, a mess. tall, gangly, skinny uh, you did grow into your ears. Thank you. Good. And my <laughs> nose. I know you can't see it under the mask. But. And now some of those styles of clothes are was, coming back. It was the worst of you? Is that what you it think? Was the, it was the... <laughs> come it, on. It was the best of you. You, you know, know it's fun had, to look at. I had so at. much fun doing that show. You won an Emmy? W the show won an Emmy, yes. Um, <laughs> several, I think. I mean, I'm right. Yes. Um, and it was it was so much fun. And I've actually, I've you know, we've kept in touch over the years, which has been so fun. Um, and WTOL, obviously... Though it doesn't house my my crush is not on WTOL. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, it's on our opposing anchor. Cut. It's cut. <laughs> <And there's> a... <laughs> um, but no, that was such a great experience and really um, kind of guided my career into, you know, what it became and and now the beauty of coming back home and being able to be in my hometown and and directing and being at my alma mater has just been. Nothing I ever expected that would happen, but it's been really the most beautiful journey. And especially watching, you know, young students like Ani just take over the show. It's so it's so exciting. Well, I know that every single time, like for schools, obviously you have four chances, baby. That's all you got. You got four chances. So hopefully, when it's your turn, you pick one that you're like good at. And so, how many years have you been been doing this then here, Ani? Um, well, I did it freshman year, and okay. then last year it got canceled. Oh yeah. So basically, we only have three chances. <laughs> yeah. But, Good yeah. point. That's unfortunate yeah. too. So you, had three, so you did it. You've been doing it for three years then, also. Um. Yeah. Well, I did them in middle school too. Oh, okay. Shows. Well, look at this. So the, everybody here is like seasoned veterans. Then you've done it forever and ever and ever. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And Nina, you play uh, Lily, who yes. is the tertiary <laughs> antagonist. You said. Yeah. Uh, that's but you what all, Wikipedia yeah. told me. <laughs> You're a, you're the 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 scheming girlfriend of yeah. Rooster. Oh. But uh you also said you were a Bo Boylan sister? Yes. Ah, the I don't even know what that Boylan is. sisters. So you I get to even... sing on the radio like do, a radio. Do, 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 yes. do, 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 I O D E N. <laughs> I'm playing glad you parts. know what that yes. is then. <laughs> you so, said everybody has seen Annie. Yeah, except well. Except you. <laughs> except I've seen it. I just oh. don't remember yeah, stuff okay. as all. I mean, again, I've seen Annie when it was when I was younger. And many, many times. And then it's like, okay, I don't need to see Annie ever again. But now, apparently I do because I don't remember anything. Now in the movies, <laughs> the orphans do some acrobatics. Will there be flips or anything on stage? Do you get to do anything? Yes. Well, my friend Sydney Grill, who's a um, principal dancer, she does a round uh, off back handspring and home oh and then do you flip into a laundry tub by N chance? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I just step in it. <laughs> oh, okay. So when did you start rehearsing for this show? Like September. September. Yeah. And then I started November 1st. Nope. My, oh, yeah. Yeah. I started happened? way later. Why is that? We There were a lot of the boys are in a different show. And mm -hmm. so all of my scenes are with one boy. And oh. so we had to wait for him to be available. Gotcha. Uh -huh. And that boy's name is? Uh, ben. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we like to name drop. It's fine. Ben gets a little name drop there. So. Yeah, he's Rooster. Rooster, and he's and where does he go to school? Do you know? St. Francis. St. Francis. Saint Francis. Okay. okay. Is there a lot of just St. Francis boys, or is there all over the place? Um, There's all over the place. Yeah. There's 10 boys in the show, and five of them go to St. Francis. So you you said you started in September. So you've been doing this now. When's the show? January. So you guys have obviously January been- January 27th. Long, a long time then. You guys mm -hmm. have really been- working on this but then yeah, yeah. We, just, <laughs> we just decided to knock all of the orphan stuff out of the way first yeah, yeah. it's yeah. productive and so do you explain how the rehearsal started initially then um well we started with the hard knock life dance right and then the we dance, learned okay. the song 
So normally Wait, we you do learn the, the dance first. Yeah. <laughs> So the a recording then you must have had a recording back behind you, right? Yeah. Well, we have this like app that's called Rehearse Score. Oh. And so it has like the music for us. Rehearse Score is on an app now, Ron. <laughs> so Which, I didn't know what, that. What's an app? <laughs> uh, Rehearse Rehearse Score used to just be recording, so that's funny. Something that called now, an app. So now okay. they just do it on an app, and everybody has their stuff. That's yeah. good to know, actually. <laughs> Did you have any idea though, Ani, that you were going to get this part? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm like 5'6", so, okay. and 17, so. <laughs> so, but yeah. did you have, you had no idea? I mean, so you just, when you went into this audition, what were you expecting? What I mean, were you? I was hoping for Annie. But, yeah? But and she's not I redhead, didn't. if you are listeners. Oh, but on Saturday, I on will Saturday be. On Saturday, you'll oh. be redhead. Okay. Oh. But, um, yeah, I was happily surprised. I also lost my voice at callbacks. Oh, so. my gosh. <laughs> she couldn't that sing at callbacks. And you cast her anyway. I know, but the, the, she the sang at her audition, and it was unreal. So here's something that we didn't expect from mm. Annie the Musical. So everyone thinks, oh, Annie, it's such a young musical. And it is written, for the musicians listening, it is written for a young lady who has not yet had that voice change. And it is high. Mm. And so when we started auditioning, and we just had some some people squeaking out some notes, which was so great, and then... Ani came into her audition and she can hit every note in her belt and her chest voice. And it's like she has the voice of like an 11 year old. It's, oh. <laughs> it, it, but Is that it's a also, compliment? No, it's also yeah. this very mature no, sound, good. but she doesn't have what's called a break. You don't have a break, do you? Um, yeah. <laughs> but on what note? It's I in like the stratosphere. <laughs> yeah. um, and so that has oh. been incredible. Her, her voice is unreal. Unreal. Good. <laughs> She's sitting over there like, oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm glad to hear all that. Because, like, how possibly, you know, that's, that's usually when they figure out. You come in with your audition song, and you sing the song that you've practiced a million times. Now you come back in your callback, and you have to sing a song that they want you to sing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, uh-oh. And then you couldn't sing, so yeah. Were yeah. You, she had a great were initial audition. She had a yeah. great uh, initial audition, and we... She has such a, a calm leadership energy about her, which is so important to the character. And at callbacks, we could see that she was panicking a little because yeah, she, say, she didn't, her voice was like, uh. <laughs> it was so low, it was very masculine. And, but she just continued on with that calm leadership energy that is so important for the character of Annie. And we, we had already heard that she could sing it. So the fact that she took... She took that challenge in stride and just said, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to storytell to the best of my ability, even though things are falling apart right now. I thought that's an even better reason to cast her because, you know, there's a global pandemic happening. So if anyone could handle kind of you know, chaos. I, I, it's so great to hear because I always thought that, that was just everybody, directors are full of it. I thought they were just like, oh, we, we're going to you know, hear this one time and then you come back to callbacks and there's so much pressure on the performer at that time to be just amazing because now it's it's down to the, just the really good ones that you pick possibly. So I think it's great that you understood that she wasn't feeling well and you didn't hold that against her. And I think that's great for, for listeners, young listeners to the show to see that directors, they, they understand. They understand. We absolutely do. They, they want you to do good. I try and say that to the younger people, too, as I always say. They want you to succeed. They're not there to make fun of you at the callback, okay? They want you to be the mm -hmm. best that you could be. So don't. there's nothing to be afraid about yeah. at that point in time. Well, with this young cast, too, we, we have a couple of tricks up our sleeve if someone's really nervous, especially oh. if there's a first-timer. And so the two things we always do if someone is really nervous is, one, we ask them to tell us about their pet. Because oh, you can have a yes. student who is so panicky and then oh we gosh, say tell yes. us about your dog and they're like oh my gosh my dog's <laughs> name is Rufus and he's so funny and he loves bananas and and so we get to see more of their personality outside of the nerves nice. and then the other thing we always do is tell us a joke um, so we had a lot of tell us about your pet tell us a joke this year and then we even had a couple more students who were so afraid who just couldn't do it and I said hey you're going to come and sit on this side of the table mm -hmm. and they sat with us and watched wow. the next five auditions and we said are you ready now and they said yeah I'm ready now Wow. So, oh my gosh! Saint well, Ursula's got great, a gem here. Great I mean, idea. Seriously. Well, except that uh, you didn't cast your own dog as Sandy. 
No. <laughs> no, no, I'm married to a lawyer. I don't want the liability. <laughs> <laughs> what is San is is Fun. your is your own dog the understudy to yes. Sandy? Uh, yes, unofficially. Okay. unofficially. Unofficial. Otherwise, yeah. he would have. He would have. <laughs> your dog would have eaten the couch if you. Yeah. Didn't no, my give dog him. is a nightmare. And our Sandy, <laughs> please come and see the show because this dog is not trained whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> and we we just keep like, oh, we'll figure that out next week. Oh, we'll figure that out oh next week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so, he's supposed to like go across the stage. Yeah. To Ani. I'm supposed to call him and he's supposed to just come to me, but But we've made no plan. <laughs> like yeah. Hidden wires pulling. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Okay. So this so the dog could literally just start wandering the aisles. Yep. So uh, that's part of the stealer. unpredictability yes. of the whole thing. Come just, and see it. This is the year to do it, right? People need to laugh. <laughs> so even if the dog does something atrocious on stage and relieves himself, we need to laugh. <laughs> yes. Yes. The country needs to laugh. Please the audience do. needs to feel joy. That's why we chose the show. I love that uh, the idea that you just said of talking about your pets. It's just a, it's clever. It's just clever. But and you know you have to deal with that kind of stuff because it's a school. Mm-hmm. It's a school, and you're going to have a lot of young kids who want to do the show. So and you know you're not you don't want to scare them. No, uh, no, no. Uh, so I've come to this particular school only three times. Two of them have been to come see your shows. So I and the other one that. was for my daughter to walk and tour to be in, to come to the school. How, how'd that work out? Uh, well, she didn't come here, oh. but you know, she yeah. went to a different school. Good journey. Yeah, but it was still great to see everything. But we'll be back again. We'll come back again because I do think that ever I, again, I never saw a single show at Saint Ursula until you became the director. Oh, so see, well, we have we have a long legacy before me, and we've got a uh, an unbelievable team. I always just say that the talented people, um, I just organize very talented people, and I make a lot of spreadsheets. But the talent, <laughs> the talent is in the music director and the choreographer and our stage manager and our costumer that's the talent i'm just the one who organizes it all is she is she like super hard to work with miss no. sunshaw no like she's really hard very she's very demanding making sure <laughs> callbacks are super stressful we're no. afraid of her <laughs> <laughs> they're very fun actually good it's just well it's so fun and we just have a really great cast really young cast so yeah I was a freshman last time. Oh, that's and true. I was an apostle and Jesus Christ superstar, so I Which didn't have very a lead. But yeah, so it's all kind of new for so our leads. There's a lot of, a lot of new faces. On yeah, the, on it's the stage. a lot of people who had never really had a role before because last year's got canceled and yeah. we were so much younger in the last. True. Show. Good point. You we were getting squashed by the seniors when you guys were <laughs> freshmen, and so now it's yeah. finally your turn, and they took a year off, so there's another year. I expect you're going to be amazing, though. Oh, so course. besides the dog possibly wandering off <laughs> somewhere, is there anything else that you've done different at all in this show? Or are we just going to come and watch Annie, the greatest little kid show ever? Oh, well, I think the worst thing you can ever say is I'm just going to do something. <laughs> no, you are going to experience You're going to experience theater. You're going to experience 84 students. 80. Oh, my God. 84 or. students on stage, one untrained dog. And... We have we've snuck in a couple little things that I don't want to talk about. Oh, we, st- we stuck in a little moment with, with Grace and Mrs. Pugh, which is not written anywhere. But I no, thought we need a li- we need a little danger somewhere. That's right. Is there a bathtub full of vodka or gin? No, or no, no, no. no. Our Miss Hannigan is a freshman, so she's oh. not of age. So. <laughs> Um, and then our war box where we will not be putting him in a bald cap because no one needs to see that. No, <laughs> no, no one needs to see that. Um, so yeah, come it's, it's, it's Annie, but it's Annie presented by 84 students who half of them are new. They have given it their all the last four months. Our Annie is what are you, five, six, yeah. five, six, <laughs> going to be a redhead as of next Saturday and is just an unreal actor and singer and storyteller. Um, Thank you. <laughs> 41, 41 orphans. You know, there are supposed to be six orphans total. Oh. Like it's written for six orphans. We have 41. So come because of that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> come for the spectacle that yes. is St. Ursula's Annie. Yes. This is the time when I, you know, I kind of pitch us a little bit here. If you guys enjoyed that conversation as much as we did, you know what? Awesome. Tell a friend that you're listening to this podcast. Subscribe to the podcast and whatever podcasty thing that you're listening to us through. Um, and then even if you get you know, like a little bit more ambition and you want to go out there and you want to like really give us some encouragement, go to iTunes. Go to iTunes, leave us a review, give us a five-star. Obviously, don't give us a one-star in a review because if you're going to do that, please don't. But 
you know, leave us a review. Tell us that, you know, we're really great because our bosses would like to hear that kind of stuff. And then we can keep doing this stuff because the more listeners we have and the more followers we have and the more likes we have, then the more of these we can keep pumping out. Again, thanks for listening to us. Bye.